We're in the middle of the World Series. It's time! And basketball season is back. This overlap happens every year, and it always makes me wonder, which sport is harder to play? Now, if you ask any baseball fan, they will be annoyingly adamant that hitting a baseball is the hardest feat in all of sports. And if you ask any basketball fan, they'd say, if I was six foot eight, I'd be in the league. So today, we're gonna take a deep dive and uncover why they might both be right. I'm gonna share some thoughts and some facts, and we're gonna try to answer this question once and for all. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Because basketball is officially back. And to kick off the season, I've teamed up with DraftKings to give new customers one of the best offers around. New customers, just place $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using promo code JARED. That's J-A-R-O-D. And if you already have the DraftKings Sportsbook app like I do, we've got the hookup for you as well. All customers can get a no-sweat same-game parlay if your bet doesn't hit. I personally hit big on a same-game parlay in the playoffs last year. It was only $10 and it was only three legs, but they all hit and I won like $900. And I promise that's a true story. I mean, it is the most money I've ever won on a single bet, but it's still a true story. So don't just watch the game, be a part of it. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, use my promo code JARED and bet just $5 on any wager to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code JARED, J-A-R-O-D, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thanks, DraftKings. Now back to the video. So, is basketball harder than baseball? Well, it's not exactly comparing apples and oranges. It's about the complexities, the dedication, and the nuances of each sport. So let's break it down. First, we'll talk about the physical demands. Both sports require peak physical fitness. That can come in different forms. In basketball, players are running up and down the court continuously, requiring a ton of cardiovascular endurance. They jump, they sprint, they stop on a dime and change direction, and they do this for 48 minutes, minus a little bit of bench time. The average NBA player runs about two and a half miles per game. I decided to go for a little run. And that doesn't even account for the physical toll of jumping, landing, and the inevitable contact. Baseball, on the other hand, doesn't require two and a half miles of running every game. It's more about explosiveness. A pitcher throwing a fastball uses a burst of energy. A batter, in a split second, decides whether to swing or not, and when he does, it's with everything he's got. Base running, diving catches, quick reflexes in the infield, it's all short, high intensity bursts. So which one is more difficult? Well, that's sort of up to you. For me, I have awful stamina. Basketball is hard, but baseball is only hard when it's your turn to bat or if a ball is hit to you. So that's sort of up to you to decide. But physicality is just one aspect. Let's talk numbers. In the United States, both baseball and basketball have roughly 1 million high school players each. Of these, 35,000 will make it to college baseball and only 18,000 to college basketball. Although this is due to the fact that baseball just has a larger roster, it is still a fact that there are almost twice as many college baseball players as there are college basketball players. So statistically, basketball is tougher with this transition, with only about 1.8% making it to college from high school versus baseball's 3.5%. Now moving on to the next level, the pros, Major League Baseball has 780 roster spots, while the NBA has 450. However, both the MLB and the NBA have a development league, the minor leagues and the G League. In the minors, there are approximately 3,500 additional roster spots, while in the G League, there's about 350 at most. The numbers don't lie, the NBA is more exclusive. So let's talk about skill. In baseball, even the best hitters fail 70% of the time. In basketball, the top players have field goal percentages over 50%. Does this mean baseball is harder, or is it just a different measure of skill? One of my favorite phrases about the NBA is that it's a make or miss league. Meaning, basically, even with all the talent and skill in the league, there are nights when shots simply don't fall, even for the best shooters. Conversely, there are nights when players who aren't known for their shooting might catch fire. Cue Jeremy Lin joke. Despite perfect play calling, perfect execution, and getting high quality shots, sometimes the ball just doesn't go in. It sounds simple, but often, games come down to whether or not the shot goes in the basket. On the other side, one of my favorite baseball phrases is a quote from the late pitcher, Warren Spahn, who said, hitting is timing, pitching is upsetting timing. A strategic battle takes place every time a pitcher faces a batter. It's a dance of deception and anticipation and execution. Sometimes the bats are hot, like when the Phillies hit 15 homers in four games this postseason. But sometimes the bats are cold, like when the Phillies followed that up by losing four of the next five games and getting eliminated. Point is, 
Both sports have a ridiculously high skill barrier to entry, but once you're there, some things are truly just out of your control. When you look at the league as a whole, the ability of everybody is about the same. I heard an argument that baseball is easier because of all the frequent stops. Lots of sitting, lots of hanging out in the dugout, and that would allow for more recovery, making it quote unquote easier. But every pitch, every swing, and every catch comes with immense pressure. One mistake can change the entire ball game. In basketball, mistakes can often be quickly rectified with a good defensive play or a couple of shots. You're expected to make your shot. In baseball, statistically, a hit is unexpected. I think that's why people tend to say that hitting a baseball is the hardest feat in sports. But obviously, it's not, because there are about 40,000 total hits every MLB season. It just feels that way because of the pressure and the failure rate. All eyes are on the batter, and 70% of the time, they don't get a hit. If you're in the NBA and you're shooting 30%, you're not in the NBA. Unless, perhaps, you're seven feet tall. Which brings me to my final point, height. The average height of an MLB player hovers around six foot one, while the average NBA player towers at approximately six foot seven inches. The average American male is about five foot nine. When you consider these numbers, it becomes pretty evident that the physical barrier to entry in basketball is much higher. For the average guy, the world of baseball is just a more accessible realm. While being tall can be an advantage in baseball, especially for certain positions like pitchers or first basemen, it isn't nearly as critical as it is in basketball. If you're exceptionally tall, you can basically get a free ride to try out professional basketball. So does the height barrier mean that basketball is harder or does it mean that it's easier? Because if you're blessed enough to be six foot nine, you've got a really solid chance. I'll leave that up to you guys to argue in the comments. So is basketball harder than baseball? I just did a whole lot of yapping and I didn't answer the question. Personally, I think baseball is harder. Sure, there are way fewer roster spots in pro basketball. And if you're under six feet tall, you can forget about it. Sorry, Altuve. However, my closing argument is this. I've never seen a bunch of 67 year old guys playing fast pitch baseball at the YMCA on a Sunday morning. That tells me all I need to know. Baseball is in fact harder than basketball. Thanks for watching.